Good afternoon, everyone, and I'm very glad to have, a, have an opportunity to be here. And the title of my talk is The Gender Impact of Science and Arts at the University of Yango. And I'll continue my talk according to this outline. The background and educational system in Myanmar, teaching staff as well as students at the University of Yango. And conclusion, uh, Myanmar has the neighboring countries of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, India, China, Laos, and Thailand. <coughs> According to 2014 census, more females po uh, percentage are populated in our country, and more and more females are populated each year. And the currency of our country is Myanmar Chit, and the capital city is Nipiro. And once before, Myanmar has been known as the Bomber or the Republic of the Union of Myanmar. Uh, the status of women in Myanmar, likely, has been always very high since the days of Pew Kingdom. But uh, there are no social inequalities or discrimination between males and females in our country. But the one unfortunate thing is that uh, most of the females have to do have some household chores at home and they ha uh, have to take care of siblings or they are sick or elderly persons at home. So they didn't have much opportunities to go to the education center. So once before, there were so many illiterate females in our country. But uh, because of their gender equality for and education for all starting from 2000 motto, are more females enter in educational systems. And the basic educational system of our country is uh, such as our primary, middle school, and high school. And after that, they can continue the higher education system to get the first degree, our master or research, and after that, followed by PhD degrees. Nearly 50% of females have accomplished in their basic education system or for to get their university entrance. Even though there was some discrimination, or even though there, were, there were some females or uh, were Ill illiterate, now it is because of their education for all mortal, there's no gender gap at any level in our gantry. And the, our gantry has the female settings, so that's why in most of the schools there were more females than males and nearly 80% were female teachers. Myanmar females can now enter the science in almost all of their roles, especially in science. And the motto of a country is to build a modern developed country through education. And let's, let's look at the female participation of the science, the teaching staff in science of the University of Yangon between 2013, 14, and 15 years. More females participate in teaching as a teaching staff in most of the departments are in, in these years. And the highest number of teaching staff are shown in, are, are seen as the lecturers, female lecturers. And the second highest levels are also in assisting female lecturers. In arts as well, more females are also found in assisting lecturers as well as uh, lecturers positions. The highest positions of our departments are professors. And more females are also found in each of the department, except in geology, there are only male professors. By comparing 2013 as well as 14 and 50, even though there are some variations in the number of teaching staff, more females are also found in almost all of the departments in science and arts. But the highest numbers are also found as the female lecturers or female assistant lecturers. So it can be said that after, the, after getting the chance, more females participate in education sectors. By summarizing the educational pathway of teaching staff at their university in 2015, the highest positions or the highest number of people employed as the lecturers, and the least numbers are found as the associate professors' positions. By comparing males and females' percentage, nearly 80% of females employ as the teaching staff at each department of our universities, almost all of the departments. By looking at the students' profile at the University of Yango, uh, more females are also enrolled as the candidates at the universities in almost all of the majors except in geology and industry chemistry in 2013 and 50. In 2013 and 50, more, f more males are more males enrolled in geology in 2000. 14, more males enroll in industry chemistry. 
by looking at the candidates of the number of candidates of PhD, uh, there are so many PhD candidates at our university since our, this is the main university or once before our university just produced the candidate PhD candidates. And now there are only two universities in our country and this is the priority, the main university of our country. So by looking at the PhD candidates from our university as well, there, uh, it, it was also observed that more female PhD candidates in almost all of the subjects, uh, especially in physics, chemistry, and the highest number of female PhD candidates were found in 2014. By just looking at the female PhD candidates in our university, the highest number of female PhD students are found in physics in 2014. Even though there are some fluctuations in the number of the PhD candidates, more females also participate in almost all of their subjects. By looking at the total male students in all subjects of our university, even though there are many male students, but compared to female students, the number of male students are half less than male students at our universities. The total female students in all subjects of University of Yango among these three years also found that more females are also uh, enrolled in so many subjects. So let's look at our educational pathway of students for students at the University of Yango in 2015. The number of females percentage, the, the number of females are also very high. And it's in the range of 67 percentage to nearly 80 percentage. The highest number of candidates are also found in the first degree. And our university just focused on the PhD students, so more PhD students are also found in our, the second percentage. Even though there is no gender inequalities, but there are some discrimination or bias among males and females in enrollment of the universities. Because females are, uh, females are less fortunate than males because they need higher marks to enroll at some of the institutes or universities. Uh, for example, Institute of Medicine, Dental, or Government Technological Colleges, Marine Institutes, and Science and Arts of the Yango Institute of Education. They need females need higher marks than males. So let me conclude my talk. Even though there are no gender inequalities in our, universe, in our country, uh, so more females can also have a chance to enter. So by looking at the teaching staff as well as the students at our university, more females dominate in the number of, as the teaching staff as well as the students. But there are still some bias between males and females to get the enrollment of the marks. Thank you very much.